In today's episode, you'll get to see a beautiful 1956 Oldsmobile. Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, first of all, welcome. Thank you for dropping by. Hopefully you'll enjoy uh, today's video. If you've been here before, again, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you subscribing, giving me a thumbs up. And also, I really appreciate the comments that you leave. It really does mean a lot to me. In today's episode, you're going to meet a gentleman by the name of Doug Ellis. He is quite the character. Um, he sounds like a bit of a laugh. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to show on YouTube because I think he, he says a lot of interesting things and I may have to cut out some of it. But uh, anyway, that's a little bit of careful editing that I'm going to have to do. But again, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Classic Car chit chat and hop in let's go for a drive and let's go meet this 1956 uh, Oldsmobile and meet this uh, this character called Doug Wow, Doug, this is an absolute beauty. What Thank is you. It? Tell me about your car. Okay, it, it's a 1956 Oldsmobile two-door holiday coupe. And the condition you see it in is basically the same condition it was in when I bought it. I got it at the Toronto Auto Auction, what, uh, 21, 22 years ago. And... Uh, it looks like this. Now, mind you, I put a few uh, add-ons or what they call back in the day optional extras on it. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you about them a little later. No problem. But uh, a few other things. Back in 1956, you could buy this car for about $3,500, $3,600 okay. right here. Now, I know everything's relevant. But um, anyhow, and it came in 19 different color combinations, no extra charge. And were they all two-tone? Were they what? Two-tone colors? No, not all of them, but if they, you had the option, 19 different Variation. color combinations, wow. right? At no extra charge. See all these belly button cars around you? By the way, do you know what a belly button car is? No, I don't. Oh. A belly button car. See these cars in the driveways right, right. and in the here parking lot here? Yep. We call them belly button cars. You well, know here, why? Here's, here's a good example right here, perhaps. Right, yeah. You know why? <laughs> why is that? We call them belly button cars because everybody's got one and they all look the same. <laughs> okay. I like that analogy. <laughs> okay. Very Anyhow, good. today, if you buy one of these cars and you wanted a different color other than black, white, silver or gray, it's going to cost anywhere from $500 to $1,000. And back then, whatever the exterior color was, the interior matched. So uh, what can I say? What is the actual name of this color, Doug? Well, that's where I have a lot of fun with the young girls and the women that come out and look at the car. I'm going to try and show you what I do with them. Okay. I don't know if it'll, it'll have the same effect, but I ask the young girls, I say, they ask me, what color pink is that? And I say to them, well, what color do you, pink do you think it is? And they'll say, Mary Kay pink? Nope. Coral pink? Nope. Wow. Sunset pink? Nope. And then they'll finally give up and they'll say, well, what color is it? And I'll say, nipple pink and they'll say no and then I take them like this over to the car I grab their shirt and I go yeah I mean obviously you don't pull it up that far no right? no I, I get it I <laughs> get it right okay. right but but it's a lot of fun we usually end up laughing right but listen if I get banned from YouTube it's going to be your fault you understand <laughs> that right anyhow uh what else can I tell you about it, it it's a great car I have a lot of fun with it uh, five years ago in Brampton, when they had the uh, street show, 
I had a woman that wanted to buy it off me. And I said, it's not for sale, which it isn't. And she said, oh yeah, everything's for sale. Everything's got a price. I said, not this car. She offered to give me her brand new Cadillac Escalade and $10,000 right on the spot. And I didn't want it. No, no what deal. am I going to do with an Escalade? Nah, just nothing, a, just nothing. A, just a big a belly button. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Anyhow, wow. um, when I go to the car shows, I, I have a lot of fun, particularly with the younger generation people and the, and the women. Um, you, you sound be, like a ladies' man, Doug. Am I right? Am I, am I getting close? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I can show you that, too, if you want to include that oh, in your video. Yes. Well, unless it gets me yeah. banned, maybe I won't, but we'll see. Anyhow, what I do, I haven't had to buy my own coffee for about the past six, seven years. Okay. Because I have eight distinct little features on this car. And I tell the person, I say, I got eight features on this car. When I point them out to you, if you can tell me what they are, I'll buy you a coffee. All right. If you, and all you have to do is get four out of the eight. Okay. Just but if like you can't, test. yeah, if Very you good. can't do that, right. then you got to buy me a coffee. So would you like to try it on And me? And if I've already got a coffee from someone else, you got to give me the buck 60 so I can get one tomorrow. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. Should, should Any, we try it on me? Sure. Ask me those questions. Okay, okay point let's... out the eight special features or, uh, yeah. Okay, well. And you got to give me the correct name. I don't know what that's called, but it does look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's shiny, it's chrome, and I'm all about chrome. So is that one of them? No, it isn't. Oh, actually, <laughs> actually <laughs> this, this was an optional extra for backup lights, but oh. this car didn't have backup lights. So instead of just an ugly thing, I got one of them prismatic rear view mirrors right. and put there, okay. right? So that's like a custom job, I see. Yeah. Okay, very good. Anyhow, that's not one oh of the God, eight. Is, I didn't know this was going to be a hard test. Okay, <laughs> fine. Oh, I, I've got one. What? The curb feelers. The what? The curb feelers. Oh, yeah. Right? I, I should tell you a funny story about yes, that. A lot of young people don't know what that is. And they'll say, what's that piece of wire on the car? <laughs> And I explained to them, when you're at a car show, you're not supposed to touch these cars because right. the oil in your hands gets on the paint. Yep. And I say, that's for people walking by. And if they touch that, you've heard of an electric dog fence, <laughs> you'll get a shock and it'll <laughs> jump you back. I like and, and the people stand back about three they feet. And they're going. <laughs> I bet they do. I mean, I'm just, you know. That's the way it is. Anyhow, you got one out of the eight oh so far. Lord. Keep going. Okay, uh, this, this is tough. Let me have a closer look. <laughs> the, uh, the adjustable headlamp? No. Nope. No, that's not it. No, nope. but there's a proper name for them. Oh, what is it? I never knew. Well, these right now are called dummy spots. Okay. Because right now they're just decorative. Right. But the, um, oh, what do you call it? The significance of them. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. Okay. But you didn't even guess them as spotlights, so now you're down. Oh, I'm down. I'm minus one. Okay. You're minus one. All right. Well, if you're going to be embarrassing me on, uh, on, on YouTube, then this, this, is not, <laughs> this is not what I had bargained now, for. I, I'm struggling to find. And I should tell you about the interior. Yes. Pay Actually, attention. Can I, can I open the yeah, door? Yeah, sure. Have a look inside. Yep. Now, you can look at the headliner. I had the whole interior done about two years ago, but since then I've had to replace that headliner about six times. The reason being is them damn stiletto heels that the girls wear keep poking holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, Listen, you're going to get me banned from this, I swear. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm no, no, just being no, truthful. No, true. What does, can I say? Does your wife know about all this? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a funny story. You know what? My wife won't even ride in this oh, car. Wow. No, she, it doesn't have a catalytic converter on it, oh, right? Is that, is that the reason? Okay. Because this was before, I think, catalytic converters. And, and so periodically, once in a blue moon, depending which way the wind's blowing, you stop at a stop street or something, and you'll get a whiff of gasoline, right? Oh, yes. And the first time I took her out for a little ride in it, that's what happened. She thought the car was going to catch on fire. <laughs> she, 
So she got out, never came back. Now, here's a question, Doug. These gauges in the middle, are they original? Were they no, there? no. They if, if you look at any of the older cars, um, particularly, you'll see the three gauges. Right. One, one is for uh, alternator, your battery charge. One is, one is for the, uh, the temperature gauge, and one is for the oil pressure. Okay. Part of the reason why we use them is because back in, the, in this era of the cars, they had what they called idiot lights. Okay. I don't know if you ever heard that, or are you familiar with them? Well, I know what an idiot is, and I know what a light is. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, that's what they were called, idiot lights. Okay. And what that is, is on the dash where the speedometer is around in there, is that if the oil pressure goes, then the light comes on and tells you you're out of oil and oh, you don't have any oil pressure. The one, the one on the left there. Yeah, the, okay, right? Yeah. And, but by then it's too late, right? True. And this, yeah, and the yes, same thing true, with the yes. generator light comes on. Right. And says, hey, I'm not charging. But you've been driving for an hour and a half <laughs> exactly. and the battery's dead, right? <laughs> so everybody puts those gauges in. And that's actually an ashtray that I see there as well. Yeah, these are ashtrays because don't forget you smoked back in the day, right? Oh, I like how they flip inside, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, the technology they had back in the day compared, you know, everybody thinks that today's technology is like the living end, right? Absolutely. No, not necessarily, not necessarily so. I agree. Can we take a look at the engine? Sure. Okay. <coughs> and I still haven't figured out the other seven things yet. No, so I know. I, I'm just buying time. I here. know. I'm, I'm just adding up mentally how much you're going to owe me. I figure you are, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So what is the engine size on this? Okay, it, it's the uh, original engine that came with the car, 324 I cubic it. inch. I had so that's rebuilt. a 324. And uh, when I had it rebuilt, in a lapse of, uh, I guess you... Everybody calls them now a senior's moment. Oh, okay. That's very, <laughs> instead of very staying politically correct, yes. instead of staying with the regular uh, 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 um, single four barrel carb that was on it, I thought, oh, it's going to be cool to put three two barrels on, right? Okay. And what you have to understand that some of the car shows with some of the cars, depending on which car it is. Some cars show the engine because it's all chrome, right, it's, it's spotless, yep. and everything else, I right? I never show my engine. Uh, no, <laughs> I, well, I, I'd be embarrassed just to take that car to a car show. Oh, no, but no. that's another, no, no, oh, that's what? another okay. story. You know what? My, my phone's ringing, <laughs> I, I gotta go. You can keep your damn coffee in the competition. <laughs> I gotta tell you about my experience with an English sports car. All right. Anyhow. Like I was saying, some cars really show off because they have a beautiful engine. Right. And in the hobby, there's a lot of different levels or aspects of it. Some guys want to build an engine. And once they get it up to perfection, oh boy, now I got a new project, I'm going to sell this. Mm -hmm. Other guys like the muscle cars. Yep. Other guys like the rat rods. Other guys like pickup trucks, panels. I have a friend of mine who's into the military stuff. He's got a a reconnaissance vehicle, an ambulance, and a Jeep, right? right? So the nice thing about being involved in this, it just isn't the fact that there's a lot of nice cars. That's one. But it's so diversified. Absolutely. If you have an interest in anything automotive, this is where you belong I in know. this whole spectrum. I, I, I would totally agree with what you just said. Absolutely. And you know what, too? Um, it's an escape, isn't it? it? it well, it is. It allows you some stress, relaxation, and everything else, so you, so you don't get stressed, rather. And, uh, and that's important. Well, what, what I really like about it, what I get out of belonging and having an old car personally, is what happened this morning at Tim's, and it happens all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> and you may think this is just the ramblings of a dumb old guy, but it's not. This is my personal feeling. We live in a terrible, terrible world today. It's not getting any better, so don't kid yourself. Trouble is, today, 
Nobody communicates. Nobody talks to anybody. Nobody makes eye contact. When was the last time you walked down the street or in the mall and you walk past someone, you smile, you look at them in the eye and say, good morning, good afternoon. You don't do that because you're afraid the guy's going to shoot you or stab you or you're, you're going to be up on charges for disrespecting, right? Yes. When I take this car out and I go into Tim Hortons just like this morning, that's why I was almost late. Yeah. I got a coffee, two other guys standing there looking at it. Yeah. We're talking. It's a conversation the, piece. It gets people And you know excited. what was nice about it? Neither one of us had a bloody cell phone in our hand. <laughs> we were standing there. We were, and this is for the younger generation. Yes, everybody listen now. We were communicating. Oh, you mean not, not texting? No. No. Oh, okay, no. We, we actually. That, this, uh, this ornament here, was that? Again, the, all the olds had the, exactly the same? <clears throat> yeah, what you got to remember is, back in the 50s, it was at the end of the Second World War. Right. We were just coming into the jet age. The CF-100, the MiG-19, right? The Tiger, Mo all those planes. So it looks like they an had, aircraft. That's right. A lot of the older cars with the fins, with the taillights, right, are, are patterned after the aircraft movement because you're just coming into the jet age as a matter of fact the Oldsmobile called her engine the rocket right 88 the war. Um, what Remember about the trunk how big is that well it's big enough you can hide a body in it oh, can you? and, right. and is I there, is there somebody knocking in there that I should be listening out for? there there could be there could be <laughs> all right let's take a look <laughs> uh, will my car fit inside is the other question oh geez yeah <laughs> Anyhow, it's a bit of a pain getting in the trunk. Oh, is it? Oh, we have to move the top. Okay. No, that just comes out That's like that. Yeah. Okay. Then I got to fart around with the key. I didn't know it was going to be hard work, Doug. I thought it would be like a simple, you know, press the button. Up oh, the no, no. They, this is old school. All right. Right? If you were going to steal something out of somebody's trunk, you had to work yeah, for it. Exactly. Not like today. I'm, I'm surprised you lock it then. <laughs> now, the trunk is big. I haven't done anything with it. So you have two spare tires? This, this is more decorative oh. than functional. Okay. This, this is, would be the functional one. Right on. Now, so you got to remember. Yeah, the cobwebs, they come with the car. Yeah, okay yep, that's to, that's to verify the age of the I car. See. Okay, yep. the authenticity. Yeah, there's probably a, a stamp somewhere that says, yeah, original cobwebs. Yeah. Very good. Awesome. Okay, but the nice thing about this is when we went to the drive-in back in the day uh -huh. and your friend had a big car like this or Mercury, any, most of the cars back then were big. They had big trunks. One of the best things about it was you and your girlfriend would hide in the trunk. And you were hoping, if that happened to you, you were hoping when you got to the drive-in there would be a long lineup. Because you've got to remember, just you and your girlfriend are in the trunk. Right, right, right. Okay? So that was kind of like a bonus. Yeah, yeah exactly. Pay extra for that little uh, feature, if you will. Uh, you, mind you, you sound as though you've done that yourself. But anyway, moving along. Yeah. Okay. You're already 2-0, and o, aren't you? Uh, yeah. About yeah, 2-0 yeah. and o for yeah, the eight yeah. special things. I know. Okay, but, but keep. Listen, you did insult my little car, so it's like. I in, how did I insult so it? You said something about English cars and everything else, and he said they weren't good and something. He had some sort of story about some guy who, I don't know. Oh. So tell me anyway, what, what was your story about the English cars? What? Okay, in 1965, I bought a brand new 1965 Dodge Polara 880 convertible, 383. Jet black with gold interior convertible. Okay. In 1966, I'm going to get married, right? So my wife and I figure, oh, we have to uh, start saving for a house. I can't drive this big car and gas guzzler. Right. And you got to remember, gas back then was what about 30 cents a gallon. Wow, or something, right? it was really it was but, going up there, wasn't it? <laughs> but you got to remember. That <laughs> no, was like a buck thirty a liter. <laughs> and the big mistake I made was marry, not marrying my wife. That wasn't a big mistake. Oh, okay, fine. But marrying you hear that on YouTube? Not marrying <laughs> the wife, okay. But marrying into an English family. Oh. She had a sister and two brothers. They all drove these English cars. The one brother drove a Daimler. The other brother drove an MG. 
Her sister drove a bug-eyed Sprite, okay. right? So I'm thinking, well, I got to get a small car and save money. They held me prisoner for three and a half days, no food, no water, till I consented to buy an English car. Oh, my God. <laughs> they talked me into buying an Austin Healey. Oh, wow. They're pretty, though. They are pretty. Oh, we thought it was cool at the time because it was a beautiful day like this. Right. The first day I took it, my folks had moved to Owen Sound, which is up on Georgian Bay. So we're going up there to visit them. On the way up, we get stuck in the rain. Oh, wow. Right? I got the roof up. I got the windows closed. But I'm telling you, that rain was coming down. I finally pulled over to the side of the road, got out of the car, and stood out beside <laughs> it. The reason being, it was drier in the rain outside, outside the car inside, than know. it was inside the car. Well, you know what? I, I must admit, I do have the same issue with the MG, and I don't even bother putting the, the <laughs> roof on because it's not going to... Plus, it takes half an hour to put the damn thing up. Yeah, anyway. I know. And, and, and the biggest thing with the Austin Healey, about two or three weeks, yeah, about that after I had it, I noticed I was walking funny. I'm walking like this. How are you walking? My again? right leg's yeah, going like this get all that the time. In there. there we go. Okay. Wow, it's going like that. Uh -huh. And I, I thought really I had done something internally, maybe at work. Yeah, like a sciatic nerve issue. It or something. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. I was really scared because I'm walking. How, how and, are you and, walking again? Let's just do that one more time because that is just priceless. Oh. I didn't know what the hell it was, right? Mm -hmm. I went to the doctor. I had x rays. I had an MRI, the whole bit. Couldn't figure it out. Then I ran into a guy who told me kind of the similar experience. He says, what kind of car do you drive? I said, an Austin Healey. It's got about 16 gears on it. That's your problem, he says. Because <laughs> every time you go five feet, you got to shift gears. You got to push that clutch. You got to push it. You can't go more than 10 feet without shifting the bloody gears. And it finally dawned on me, that's what it was. That's what the problem was. Yeah, so shifting gears. it was a health issue, so you had to get rid of it. Oh, I had to get rid of it. I yeah. You. yeah. All right. Or whatever yeah. they were. Okay. So you might as well tell me now. Okay. I, I owe you a couple of coffees as it is, so <laughs> let's, let's just quit there, shall we? Okay, first thing, there's a specific name for the tire. White wall? Well, it is a white, I mean... <laughs> Hey, you get you get points for like just me. Is that half yeah, a point? Yeah, you get points for even realizing that, okay? Okay. Hey, you English guys are I pretty know, sharp. What can I say? <laughs> Anyhow. All those years of education. There you go. It's got to be something. They're called three-inch wide whites. Wide whites. Oh, I see. Because they're, cause they're wide yeah. and they're white. Okay, yeah, right. that's you one. You think you got it made, and by right? The way, the white okay, okay, see the disc? Yes. What's that called? Um, it's a disc. Um, <laughs> oh, I just told you that. Oh, no, that doesn't count. Right, That's fine. not another half point. I, I, I know there is a name, but I don't know what it is. Called spinner hubcaps. Spinner. Spinner, because of this. Okay, when but you're driving down the road, it looks like it's spinning. It, oh, it, spin. it, okay. it doesn't spin. It doesn't okay. spin, okay. But it looks like it does. Right. All right I'm okay. With you. So cool. that's the one thing. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. And... The, in these cars, what do you call this window? Oh, I know this because I, I have it know. too. Um, okay, I, I it, I didn't know it you goes by. Me as I, well. I was even going to give you because some people call it by one or two different names. I call it a no draft, no draft, no draft, okay. no draft. Okay. And the reason being is because depending the way it is, you don't get a draft. And if you were a smoker in the day, this was ideal. You put your butt here when you're finished. Whew, the wind takes it. So there's a reason why. And, and it gets a little guy in the sports car behind the English, you. The English okay. guy in the sports I, I'm car. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, I'm know, just yeah, saying. Yeah, I know okay. where you're going with this. All right. <laughs> and you don't need air conditioning. Okay. If you go like that with that window and do the same with that window, the, just the wind comes in. You got beautiful. cross ventilation. Look at that. See, we weren't so stupid back in I the know, day. I know. You're okay. Right. Anyhow, that's one of them. Now you move along. What do you call this that covers the back wheel? Oh, that? <laughs> what is it called? It's called a fender skirt. Really? Fender okay. skirt. I did not and, know that. And all back right. in the day, they had well, all kinds of different ones. They had ones that started about here, and they come out like this. They called them bubble skirts. Okay. 
They had other ones that were closer to the panel but started here and came all the way down. So, so here's a question then, Doug. How were they actually attached? Well, there's like, a hook. Like a clip? There's, yeah, there's a hook underneath here right. that goes up and hooks on the back side of the trim here, right? Okay. The back side of this, just like your fender, like right. that. So like, it just like teeth and it yeah. kind of grips and it, it grips it and then it, it catches in oh, here and it catches in here. So they don't this is called a tiger's tail. Back in the day, Esso Gasoline had one of the most uh, iconic advertising campaigns ever devised. Okay. And what it was, was back in the day you went to a gas station, they had an actual real live person come out, ask you how much gas you, you mean and they, they would talk to you and not text you? That's right, that's right, they okay. would talk. And, and, and they would call you ma'am or sir yeah, or yeah. Mr. Jones if they knew you. Anyhow, they would pump your gas. If you went to Esso and got a full tank of gas, if you said fill it up, yeah. When they were done, they would put a tiger's tail. And the slogan was, put a tiger in your tank. I've heard the slogan. That's right, where it came put from. a tiger in your tank. Everybody knew when you were driving down the street, you filled with SO. that guy uses SO gas and he's got so a tiger in his tank. It's gotta be a good gas, right? No. That's right, wow. that's, that's right, at the, the back. Uh -huh. See the tail lights? Yes. See the little blue dot? Right, what is that? That's called a blue dot. <laughs> Crying out loud. <laughs> was, I could have got that one. Right? <laughs> you rascal. Seriously? That's, that's it. A blue dot. Okay. Seriously, that's it's fine. called it's a, blue a blue dot. dot. Okay. I wonder and, why it's called a blue dot, Doug. Yeah, and, and back in the day they were illegal. If the I got stopped more than once, not that many, but more than once, because I had them on my car. And if you had blue dots, the police would stop you, give you a ticket. And I've had to go home, change the lens out of my car, put in the red solid lens, go back to the police station, let them look at my car, pay my ticket, and then I was okay. Then I'd go back home, take that car, put the lens back in. Why, it was the re yeah. yeah, the reason being, <clears throat> at night when you're driving, because of the blue in here, it makes the tail light look kind of pinkish, not red. Oh, okay. and, and I think it's either the Highway Traffic Act or uh, whatever, one of those government agency things, right? You can only have red lights showing at the rear of your car with the exception of your license plate light. Okay. So we would get in trouble with the blue dots. So the police officer really wanted to be a little bit difficult to you. Yep, okay. yep. Anyhow, so that pretty... So, Doug, before we leave the back, um, you have two exhaust pipes. The originals would have had two as well? No. No. Singular? It, it, yeah, it just had single exhaust, oh, that's yeah. dual exhaust. And the license plate is, is a, uh, a mix, you know, from, from Fonzie's Happy Days? Of course. Okay, I yes. asked my grandkids to help me come up with a name, right? Because I call it, you know, it's a happy day. Are you going to do one of those Fonz things for me? Hey! Uh, no, no. <laughs> Hey, anyhow, I consider it a happy day when I get a chance to take this car out and meet people. Wonderful. Right? Wonderful. So, yeah. And that uh, that pretty that <laughs> pretty much It's a little nicer than 4H9556. <laughs> what the hell when is that? I, mean? When I well because never having met you before, <laughs> I come in I li read the license I read people's license plate numbers <laughs> like that, then I go on Google and I check it out. I don't know if that was your number when you were in the joint or <laughs> what. I, I don't know, right? I, I got it tattooed on my backside. I'll show you later. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I do that with some guys, just right? To make sure. I just want to know. Yep. Okay. Is he legit? Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that, that pretty much. Ta oh, the one other thing which brings us around to the spotlights. Yes. I'm, I'm not enjoying your tests, though. I, I really am not <laughs> having a lot of fun with this. Okay. We, which are now dummy spotlights. Right. They're, these they're are called dummies because they're not hooked wired. up. Yes. When I was, uh, what, 17, 18, 19, and around that age group, going with my girlfriend. Not, not your wife? No, not at this we time. We don't talk about that right now. No. Okay, fine. All right, moving. This is when I was younger. Yeah, because off camera you mentioned you had a lot of girlfriends and everything. <laughs> Am I getting you in trouble? 
Anyhow, yes. back in the day yes. when we were teenagers, after you took your girlfriend to the drive-in and or the dance or wherever. In the back of the trunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Okay, you would go down to the park to make out. You would have a favorite parking spot to make out. Uh -huh. Well, the cops would see you parked over there. They'd pull in here. They had a big spotlight on their right. car. They'd shine the spotlight at you, uh, and you think, oh, the cops are here, there and they'd go. wait okay. until you took off and went home. You have to remember, that was the only form of birth control we had back then. <laughs> the spotlight. Yeah, okay? I'm just saying, okay? okay? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, yes. we got kind of, we got smart, right? We're not stupid. We went over to Canadian Tire or whatever, and we bought our own spotlight, put it on our car, and hooked it up. Then when you went down to the park, if some guy's parked spot, in your yeah. spot, you shine the light on him, he thinks it's a cop's, he goes oh home. My God. You pull in, oh you my got it made in the shade. Absolutely. Can we listen to the engine? Oh, okay. And something my wife pointed out, and I didn't even think about it, says you should get yeah. them to honk the horn. Because oh. the horns are kind of yeah. attractive in themselves, so do both. So start her up, let's listen to the rumble of her, uh, the V8. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. See, Very it's good. a loud horn. All these little uh, uh, belly button cars. Beep, beep, no, beep, beep. Bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've had, well, I won't say it because it'll get you banned yeah, on probably. YouTube. Probably, yes. You said enough. I'm, I'm kind of worried as it is. <laughs> okay. You've heard the expression chick magnet. Yes, I have. As it applies to a car? Yes. Well, show me one other guy in the car shows or cruises. Oh, my Lord. Which one's the car? Oh, I forget the car. Wow. When was this taken? Just a couple years ago. Who's the ugly guy in the photo? Now. Oh. <laughs> wow. You can edit that statement out of the tube. Which one? The ugly guy in the yeah. I'll keep the no. car. I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put an X by your face. No, they up. make fun of me, but I'm the only one that you you'll ever see. see. And Absolutely. notice where they're from. All over the world, they come to see me in my car. Venezuela. Okay, back in 2012, mm -hmm. I, had, I had the uh, very good fortune to do a calendar. A car like calendar. A, like a pinup thing. So you, like, did yeah. you take your shirt off? 20,000? No. Oh, okay. No, no. That's good. For my car. Oh, right, right. So, and I was in there. Oh, yeah. You're going to get me banned again. <laughs> I was March. Oh, wow. Okay. Which one's the car again? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, the, in this, they don't pay you for doing this. Right. But what you Who do. Who needs money when you got this? Well, that's part of it. You're right. And the best part is. Depending upon how many girls uh -huh. are in your featured picture, right. at the end of the shoot, and about a week and a half later, they come along, if you're chosen to have your car in the calendar, you get to go out to dinner with each one of these girls independently. That's how they pay you. You're pulling my leg. I would never do that. I, I would never you pull it. your leg when I'm... Something as serious as that, you get to go out for dinner with the... Okay, well, how, how do I contact these people? <laughs> <laughs> so you wow. were presented this at the show in, where was that again? Georgetown. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, here's a question. Which one do you prefer? Watch. No, no. <laughs> if, you, if you had to pick one, do, do the right thing. I love convertible. See? Did you hear that? No. What was that again? You said convertible. Yeah, oh, know. okay. I just notice something. When you open the door, this flips. Oh, off. this? Yes. Yeah, that's right okay. So that's like a rain guard. Right. You didn't add that to your list of things to test. Well, me. no. I I figure what the hell they okay. can't get oh, four. Okay. How are they going to get ten? <laughs> wow. That is the coolest thing. I don't think I've ever seen that. No. That's what I'm saying. Like back then, <clears throat> back then some of the oh. And there is one thing oh. this car can do and record this yes. 
This car can do one thing that, that none of these belly button cars okay, can do. Yeah. Could you say that a little louder? So yeah. You know, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Doug? It sounds what? like a punchline to a joke. Okay, <laughs> what is that, Doug? <laughs> no. Notice I have all the windows down. Yes. This oh, car, there's no, there's no, there's no post, post yes. right? That's not it. Oh. But this is called a hard top convertible. That's the term hard top convertible. The reason it's called that is with all the windows down, it looks like a convertible right. with the roof up, okay. right? Okay. Except it's a hard, that's why they call it a hard top convertible. Now, I only drive this car with all the windows down because that's what it's meant for, oh. right? Yeah. No poke. I can drive this car down <coughs> any highway in the province or anywhere. Right at the posted speed limit or faster without rupturing my eardrums <laughs> and I can still listen to my radio sure. or I can carry on a conversation with a friend. You can't do that in any one of these cars without rupturing your eardrums. I agree. You get that racket yep. and, and next thing you know you've got earaches, right? Good point. Yeah. And they said this car is out of date. No, not at all. It's years ahead of its time. You're right. Absolutely. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. Yep. I'm gonna connect this camera back to my car. Yep. We'll go for a little drive. Yeah. I'll lead, you follow me, and we'll show the okay. community of Streetsville what a beautiful car you have. Okay. Sound like a plan? Yeah. And you can tell us.